Hey there, Drew Rebar, Auditing Reno 911. Thanks for watching the channel. Uh, so, uh, the latest breaking news that we've got in the city of Reno is a man that I do know personally. I've worked together with him for many, many years. Uh, Alex Woodley uh, has retired, and there's an article in the Nevada Globe that's uh, fairly disturbing. Uh, now I'll tell you about my, my positive uh, interactions with Mr. Woodley after I read the story to you, which is not positive. And I'll also... Uh, Pose some questions, and uh, well, you the people get to decide what uh, what's right and what's not right in our society, and that's really what this is about. So, let me go ahead and share with you uh, what uh, the Nevada Globe has said. And I did speak to the gal that wrote the article, uh, so she and I had a good conversation, Megan Barth. But what this here says is, Alex Woodley resigns from City of Reno amid allegations of sexting on city-issued cell phone. Multiple sources within the City of Reno told The Globe that salacious text messages, including videos and photos, were discovered during an unrelated search. I was getting a little dyslexic there. Uh, so this uh, was published by Megan Barth, October 11th, 2024, at 3.06 p.m. Uh, it says uh, the the Globe is ex sorry about that. The, the Globe has exclusively learned from multiple sources within the city of Reno that Director of Code Enforcement Alex Woodley resigned on Wednesday after a discovery of salacious text messages, including photos and videos from his city issued cell phone. That's crazy. Um, the thousands of text messages were sent over a period of two years from Woodley to at least two other women who were discovered during an unrelated search from an insubordination complaint. One of the women allegedly ended their affair, citing that she was worried about her public reputation. Woodley had then allegedly tried to re rekindle the relationship, but the woman did not engage. So from what I'm... Uh, Told from some of my other sources because I've talked to uh, Megan and I've talked to uh, some other people. Uh, information seems to be corroborating it, but uh, think about what was said here that uh, this woman was worried about her public reputation. So if uh, she was worried about her public reputation, that means she's a public figure that was uh, having sexual relations with, with Mr. Woodley. So were they doing it on... Uh, the taxpayers dime, were they uh, working their 40 hours a week or were they uh, having sex for their 40 hours a week? You got two public individuals, Mr. Woodley, who's a member of the school board, and then you've got uh, somebody with a public reputation. Interesting. Uh, so let's go a little further here. Uh, the message is both in English and Spanish, including scheduling meetups at two different hotels, and it's further alleged that the sexting was also conducted during school board meetings. So that's interesting. The message is both in English and Spanish. So uh, I suppose this will all come out in the wash, but uh, who, who in the public uh, is bilingual? So that uh, kind of weeds down the, the pool of people that uh, were sleeping together here. I think Reno may be turning into diddly land, it sounds like. P. Diddley's got his... Uh, oh, P. Diddy, I'm sorry. Um, anyways, goes on to say here, Woodley has served as Washoe County School Board trustee since December 2022 and is retained his seat in the last election. He served the city of Reno for 20 years until his resignation this week. One source told the Globe that Woodley had a pattern of harassing behavior dating back to 2017. In 2017, another woman alleged that Woodley had sent unsolicited text sexual pictures to her prompting her to file a complaint it's not clear of any whether any disciplinary action was taken so 2017 to 2024 seven year history right there this behavior put the city in a compromising position and raises questions as to how long and to what extent Woodley engaged in unethical behavior this was significant breach of the code of ethics. Was he vulnerable to bribes in his capacity as director of code enforcement? His resignation, rather than disciplinary action or termination, 
allows him to potentially work for another city or run for a council position, our source said. His brazen and harassing behavior is appalling as his ability to resign. Yeah, like resigning versus retiring. Or resigning and retiring after 20 years of service or being terminated, which means you don't get your retirement money. Another source added this disgusting behavior is not only assigned to Woodley, the city is compromised. What does that mean, the city is compromised? Are there a lot more people sleeping with each other at the city? Or is this incurring liability for other city employees? Could it be a, a mixture of both? There's a lot of people sleeping together at the city of Reno. And uh, there, you've got liability for other employees as this is happening around them. Um, wow. The Globe reached out to Woodley for comment. He had not replied at the time of publishing. He did, however, tell, this is Reno. Uh, I've done the best I, that I can do. It's time to do something different. I feel like I've done a lot of good for the city. I've made a lot of big changes. Woodley said he plans to focus on his duties as a school board trustee. I believe that I'm a servant. He said, it was time for me to go. Retirement is perfect for me right now. So, um, like I said, I, I know Alex Woodley. I just saw him the other day at the uh, Tim Walls rally. Oh, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Life is good. How are you doing, man? And uh, he sits on the school board. So the, the good thing is I'll tell you about... Uh, Alex Woodley, or what I think is good. Oh, uh, I forget how many cycles ago it was. There, there was a problem in uh, the city of Reno with being able to impound cars. If those of you who don't know, I have a towing company. Uh, and there was this car that was a public hazard over at the Walmart on West 7th Street. And it was an abandoned BMW that had been stripped, and it was sitting up on blocks, and it was had no salvage value. There was no money in the car to be had. And so under the current laws, there was no way to have a towing company tow it. So Alex Woodley and I worked together along with some other people, uh, specifically shout out to Senator Mo Dennis, now ret re retired. And uh, he helped us sponsor a BDR and we fixed the law to make it so that dangerous vehicles, junk cars, things like that could get towed away and there could be a solution to the problem. So Alex has done some, some great work and, and some things that I've seen and been personally involved with. Now this whole thing is my concern. I, I don't care who anybody sleeps with. Um, God bless you. It's your life, your ethics, your morals. Not for me to judge. i got to look at my own self in the mirror every morning I wake up. you got to look at yourself in the mirror. But if he's doing this with all these people, is he doing it on the city's dime? Is it is it our time and our money that he's been sleeping with people? If it's not, Let's stay out of it. If it is, we need to know about it because we can't have our government employees having sexual relationships with each other on our dime. Why should we, the taxpayers, pay for your sexual proclivities? Anyways, reach out to the city of Reno. I'll try to put some email addresses in the description. Uh, you guys all have a great day. Thank you much.